No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Game Awards this year, yep. 2022. Major announcements. We got reveals, mm-hmm. trailers, release dates, award winners, all encompassing of the video game culture. No. Oh, I can't even pause it. So, this is the ninth year for the Game Awards. Mm-hmm. We had musical performances, an on stage orchestra, celebrity guests. I mean, it, it was it's a great, great time. If you didn't watch, I suggest you go and watch it. We had our boy Kajima Hideo. God, Hideo. I love that guy's mind is something else. It was fucking warped, like Silent Hill. Si- Did uh, he do Silent Hill? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did Silent Hill. Dude, have you played Death Stranding? Yeah. Postman Simulator. <laughs> yeah, Postman Simulator. And, I mean, he he did. I keep on saying that. Dad Simulator. You just walk around and pick up other people's shit. Picking up trash, picking up packages, doing other people's shit. Um, of course, the wives are going, oh, you can pick shit up in a game, but I, I ask you to pick up your socks off the floor. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, he also did. I keep on saying Siphon Filter, but it wasn't Siphon Filter. We'll get to them later. Um Metal Gear Solid. Yes. So, I mean, like, oh, yeah. Oh, God, one of my favorite PS1 games. And, and and we also got stuff from Bioshock creator Ken Levine. You know, the new game Judas. Yeah. All right. Pause that because I haven't finished it, so I don't need to know. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got Hades 2. Oh, I'm going to the light. <laughs> my bad. The Bayonetta prequel. And I just read a thing that there could be working up to nine more Bayonetta Titles. Is it really that popular of a game? Apparently. I mean, oh man. Either they got nothing else. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Armored Core 6, which looks really good. And then we got release dates for Final Fantasy 16, Diablo 4, uh, Star Wars Survivor, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. That looked pretty interesting. Um, Elden Ring and God of War. Won a lot of stuff. God of War won a ton of stuff. Oh, yeah. But just fell short. To claim game of the year. To claim game of the year. Yeah. So, we're going to do a quick roundup. Um, we know that Returnal is coming to PC, which is interesting because now that's another PlayStation exclusive that's going to PC. I. Dude, the, that I think list, Sony is just diving into the PC world. That list keeps getting longer and longer. Not only and that, dude, longer. The all the R and D that they put into those new um, monitors. I, I'm trying to remember the series name that they're using for them. It's not in zone. In zones are the headphones. Oh well, they're they're doing a whole series of stuff for like. Uh, monitors and headphones and which funny thing a bunch of those sony end zone stuff was on sale at target during the black friday weekend right um Um, which i think it's funny the headphones are just the ps5 headphones with bigger earpieces and a wired microphone yeah i don't know to each their own i guess yeah. Uh, Street Fighter Six release date has been confirmed for June. Uh, sorry, I don't have the the day. We're just going off of this list here. Thanks to VGC because we use their stuff a lot. We can almost be a VGC podcast for how much stuff we use. I know. Uh, Dead Cell uh, Castlevania crossover DLC, Return to Castlevania is coming early 2023. Which that looks interesting. Does it? Yeah. Nice. I think two of my favorite things, Dead Cells and Castlevania. Booyah. <laughs> uh, Hades 2, which Rob already said. I mean, I'm excited for that, honestly. Like, I loved Hades. I haven't played it yet. It was so much fun. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's on uh, Games Pass. Oh, dude, I haven't played a game on the PC for a while. You're slacking, bro. I know I am. It's like I, I fell in love with playing Turtles on there. And I had you. I played a little bit with my daughter. We played online with Tyler the one night. Yeah. Now it's like I feel like I need a group to play that with. Oh, fair. Um, 
another thing you brought up, Bioshock, Kevin Levine's new newest game, Judas. Oh, Looks interesting. Man. And we will get to hear Kevin Conroy play Batman for the last time in the new Suicide Squad game. I have a feeling that game is going to be a collector's piece just because oh, right. yeah. that is Conroy's last act as Batman. Right. Yeah. So that that's going to be like a whole... Right. People are going to covet that game. It's going to be like the Black Ops 3 Juggernaug editions. Yeah. $900 <laughs> on eBay. All because of a mini fridge. Selfish pricks. Um. A Bayonetta prequel has been announced, like I, I was talking about earlier. And then we have The Last of Us Part 1 again, again for the 17th time. For the third time. Coming to PC now. Again, another PlayStation game. Did it coming to Did PC. it originally go to PC? I don't think so. Yeah, I think on the 4 even it stayed a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, and now it's coming to PC. That's what I mean, dude. Like... Oh, Sony, a lot of Sony stuff's going to PC. Mm-mm-mm-mm. So we know Star Wars Survivor is coming in March. Dude, March is looking huge. That time frame. Hold on. Let me just... Because I, I need to know if it's early. It'll be darker. Yeah. I like that. March 17th. An earlier accidental leak. Oh. Okay, because once again, something got leaked on Steam. Right. Okay. A couple, two weeks after my birthday. Which uh, which means I'm going to have to bother my wife. Death Stranding 2 has... <laughs> Death Stranding 2 has been confirmed. Well, like I told you... My wife was asking me what I wanted for Christmas, and I pointed at the Final Fantasy 16 Collector's Edition. <laughs> she laughed. Fucking $350. No, I told her, I was like, I'll wait, because I know she's not pulling that trigger. Right. She'll laugh at me. $350. Death Stranding 2 has been confirmed. We have a new Nightingale trailer has shown. What is Nightingale? Um... So it's from a new studio. A studio formed by former BioWare head Aaron Flynn. Okay, he first showed it last year. And he showed a little bit of the progress. Okay. Awesome. So, let, 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 I want to go back to this just real quick. Okay. So Star Wars uh, Survivor is launching March. Yeah. Late January, we have Forspoken. Oh, that was another thing I wanted to talk to you about. Did you see the demo breakdown? It looks really good. The the D make people are comparing the showcase video of what was supposed to be the actual gameplay to yeah. what we're getting now. Supposedly. Yeah. Um, we're getting Dead Space at the end of January. Okay. Beginning to mid February, we get Hogwarts Legacy. Okay. Um Atomic Heart. Is coming mid February. Late February, you have Call of the Mountain for Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, Sons of the Forest, which is the forest uh, sequel, which is a survival horror game. Oh, uh, okay. Octopath 2. Oh, that's going to be a big one. And then March, we have. Skull and Bones, finally. <laughs> Bayonetta or Origins. Okay. Star Wars Survivor. Resident Evil 4. Yes. Um, a couple of other ones. And then, beginning of April, we have Dead Island 2. Oh, dude, I can't wait for that one. Like, we have so much stuff just coming right, right there. Yeah. And then when does um when that's does, that's tax season too. When does Final oh, Fantasy man. 16 launch? June, I believe. Is it June? Yeah. Hold on, I just saw it. Yeah, June twenty second. So, 
We got all kinds of games coming out. Next year is looking like it's going. Diablo Four comes out um, June fourth or June sixth. You guys better play that with me because I've never played a Diablo game. So I mean, we got like all kinds of like really good games coming out the first half. Oh, don't forget we have that. Uh, don't we have that Capcom game coming? That everybody got excited that they thought was going to be a Dino Crisis remake. Oh, it basically was. Yeah. Yeah. I'm it's just sure. an online game now with a bunch of people. Right. So y'all want to know? Oh, well, that's right. Hold on. That's right. We're gonna. We got to get through this. Uh, do, 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 do. So yeah. Sorry, I uh. Yeah. I, I derailed us there. Tekken Eight gameplay trailer. We have yep. Burning Shores DLC for Horizon Forbidden West. Diablo 4, as Rob said, Crash Team Rumble, a team versus team Crash Bandicoot game. Oh, they're really trying to bring Crash back. Right. Uh, Company Company of Heroes Heroes 3 is coming to PS5 and Xbox. Why does that look familiar? Um, Because it was originally, I think, a... C O H three. Oh my God! Are we gonna see a a COD competitor? Maybe. Wait a minute. Strategy experience. Oh, this is their the the studio's former games. They're used to doing strategy games on PC. From Soft announces Armor Core Six, as yes. Rob said. Final Fantasy Sixteen, uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven's Phantom Liberty DLC will star Idris Elba, uh-huh. dude. Idris, and why am I blank? I feel like an asshole now because I'm blanking on his name. Johnny Silver. Oh, Keanu uh, Reeves. Keanu. 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 Uh, Elden Ring. As we all know, one game of the year, uh, to which we then had to hear a kid thank his reformed rabbi, (laughs) (laughs) his reformed rabbi, Bill Clinton. Uh, The Game Awards, uh, the full winner's list, we're not going to go through that. That is just way too much. I mean, we can go through it real quick, but... Yeah? Yeah, we might as well. Are they going to give us an actual list? Okay. All right. So... Game of the year and best game direction went to Elden Ring. Rob? Best narrator and best art direction. Or no, best narrative went to Ragnarok. Best art direction, Elden Ring. Best score and music went to Bear McCreary, which Bear McCreary did The Walking Dead. Yeah. So, he, he did God of War. Oh, yeah. Best audio design, God of War. Oh, yes. Best performance, Christopher Judge in God of War Ragnarok. Games for Impact as Dusk Falls. Boy. Boy. Best ongoing game, 14. Final Fantasy, 14. Best indie was Stray. Best debut indie was Stray. Best community support presented by Discord was Final Fantasy, 14. Best mobile was Marvel Snap, which I that I haven't played it. Isn't it the card one? I haven't either, but that's the one that they keep pushing the ad with the development team in in the ad talking about. Oh, we got all this great stuff coming, and we've been working on this. And uh, okay, <laughs> I think that's it. Uh, best VR was Moss Book Two. Best action Bayonetta Three. Rob, best action adventure, God of War. Best role playing was Elden Ring. Best fighting, why zoinks, was Multiverse. Best family, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Best sim strategy, Mario and Rabbits, Spark of Hope. Best racing, Gran Turismo 7. I'm surprised. Uh, best multiplayer, Splatoon 3, which your daughter has yet to play after you bought it for her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Most anticipated Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Makes me want to go back and play Breath of the Wild too. Go back and play through Breath of the Wild I um, had, I just I need to do the DLC Yeah I finished the story though Content creator of the year Warp Point Streaming 
We wish. We hope to one day be One day. There. One day. Uh, it was Ludwig, <laughs> of course. Uh, best adaptation, Arceus. Or Arcane, League of Legends. Um, it's a Netflix one. Innovation in accessibility. God of War Ragnarok. Dude, have you seen the accessibility menu for Ragnarok? No. It is huge. Good. Huge. But you know what you'll never see on here for best adaptation? Castlevania. Netflix Resident Evil. Well, yeah. I mean, it's so... <laughs> uh, Castlevania, I didn't think was that bad. I, I like need, Castlevania. I still need to finish it. I though. thought it was great. Uh, best esports game, Valorant. Shocker. Best esports athlete, Jacob Yay Whitaker for Valorant. Best esports team, Loud for Valorant. Best esports coach, Mathis Bizika Terracassoni for Valorant. Also from Team Loud. Um, Butcher that name. Terracassoni. No, I think it's Terrascani. Terrascani? Terrascani. Okay. I don't know. Anyway, best who, esports who event, League of Legends World Championship, and player's voice. Genshin Impact. What do they mean by that player's voice? I don't have a clue. They had, get MiHoYo has been pretty active on like pushing stuff out for Genshin. I mean, yeah, Genshin. I mean, for being a free game, like, um, so yeah. I mean, we 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 had some big, big stuff. Uh, God of War came away with like five, I think. Uh, so we had innovation and accessibility. One. Uh, do, 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 do. action adventure two. Performance three, audio design four, uh, score, and narrative so six. Six. It took home six six awards. And Elden Ring had what four? Uh, game of the year, game direction, best art direction. So maybe only three. Yeah, I think it only had three. So yeah. I look! Mean. Look! These two games have proven one thing. Not everything has to be about multiplayer. What are you talking about? God, or uh, Last of Us has won everything for the past seven and a half years. Oh it's only been God. out for five, but <laughs> it's won it for the past seven and a half, okay? Single player. PlayStation PC exclusive. <laughs> Look, th this whole thing that games have to have multiplayers and multi and no, microtransactions and we're looking at UEA. Yeah, there is no microtransactions on either one of those games. Right. That is skill. Miyazaki's a master. Um, I dare you to challenge me on that. So then we have Amazon and Bandai. Bringing anime MMORPG Blue Protocol to the West next year. Um, 505 Games have revealed a star-studded co-op first-person crime boss. First-person shooter game, Crime Boss Rocka, Rocka City. I almost said Rockaway. <laughs> rock, 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 Rockaway Beach. Uh, and then Transformers Reactive is a new co-op action game from Splash Damage coming on the heels of the Beast Wars, for all lack of better term. Yeah, that trailer we oh got. Oh, my God, yes. Beast Wars. Um, so uh, does, that, does that wrap up the Game Awards? Yeah. So, again, we ask you, what was your game of the year? What game did you love playing this year? Let us know. And if you below. and if you saw on my Facebook, well, not my Facebook, Warpoint's Facebook, the Facebook, I shared my PlayStation yearly summary. Yeah. Do you see mine? Yeah. Like nine hundred something hours. I have to figure out how to get into mine. So I only found it because I Googled the article so, that somebody did on it. Well, I've I've, I've tried to do it, and yeah. it's all linked to my old phone number, my two step. <laughs> 
Oh. Yeah, so I have to figure out how to do that. Uh, I don't know how you're going to do that. I don't either. (laughs) I'm hoping, like, I can get into it through my computer because it's a recognized (laughs) device. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, I had 120-something hours in Elden Ring. I think like 140 something hours in Final Fantasy 14. Rookie numbers. <laughs> compared I know. to what we used to do. I know. Look, man, being an adult sucks. Well, even like like uh, I was just thinking about this. We'll we'll wrap this up. So, yeah, tell us what your your game of the year was, what you enjoyed most this year Damn. and let us know in the comments below and we'll discuss, but not until after the end of the year. Like, subscribe and share. Help us out with that. We're trying to we're trying to make our own little just bump the microphone. <laughs> trying to make our own little mark on YouTube. Yeah. Tired of seeing all the others on there. Right. And I almost hit the stop streaming button. <laughs> Don't do so. that. <laughs> Next story.